Hey there guys, it's Zach here from Inbeta, and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 10547. This build includes a number of features and enhancements over the last public preview build which was 10532. So diving straight in, the first noteworthy change is with the start menu. Now unfortunately since this build is not activated I am unable to actually show you this change but within the start menu you can now have a fourth column. So you can have either two wide ones in the same row or four uh, medium ones or eight small ones. And if we go into settings here you will see that in personalize you can see the option in start show more tiles is here another new change in this build is you can now disable the background the windows logon background picture but again since i'm not activated i can actually show you that which is unfortunate uh, they have been a number of new app updates in this build so if we jump into the mail the mail app here you can see it's now got a nice new dark theme and on the left here you get an awesome uh, wallpaper thing you can change this in the settings up the personalized area the personalized area here we can ask it to use our windows uh, accent light theme or dark theme depending on who you on what theme you prefer and of course a wallpaper that you can choose and if you don't like any of the wallpapers you can actually browse for your own as well which is fantastic so let's uh, close that out and same goes for the mail the calendar app as well the calendar app is also sharing a new theme uh, let's um, oh there we go go into personalize and let's make see the theme's not working now entire window yes so there you go and that's working pretty great and that looks fantastic uh there's a change to tablet mode if we go into tablet mode here the task view now sort of works better than it did before so in windows 8 if you had uh, multiple apps open and you wanted to snap a third app but there was no room on the screen for it uh windows would allow you to select which app um just to replace but in windows in the windows 10 rtm that wasn't the case but it appears to be back in uh the latest build so if we snap this up here and snap that up there now if we go to task view and select the third app windows will now ask me where i want this app to go and all i have to do is select it and that pops up there much like you would expect good feature to return to windows something tablet users are definitely going to enjoy and that's all fine and dandy now what else is here there's a change to microsoft uh, edge uh web what is it object rtc let's see if i can find the blog post object rtc in microsoft edge is a developer thing but it now allows uh video and audio uh, without any additional plugins which is fantastic uh, text input panel improvements the text input panel now expands as you write to provide more space in latin languages i don't think i can show you this as i'm not on the touch screen yeah it's not really gonna work so it's there but i can't touch type on it with a mouse so uh, that's pretty much it that's a quick look at this build uh a, a, a nice feature set and more are cut on the way so uh make sure you check for updates via windows update if you haven't uh and yeah so this is available right now to insiders in the fast ring so if you're not in that ring you won't be getting this build yet or i should also mention the new icons uh, as you see the mail icon has an update as does the calendar icon and they're less monochromatic than before they're more colorful and a lot more you know alive i guess before they were very dead and just white and, and plain uh and now they have colors which is nice so there you have it guys a quick look at windows 10 build 10547 thanks so much for watching and i shall see you in the next one